is we're gonna tune it down a little bit but i have to tell you if you're still watching hit that like button subscribe and while you're at it leave a comment yeah and subscribe that's the second time i'm telling you to subscribe now rio killer boss take it over goodbye hey guys rio killer boss back with another video thank you guys so much for 500 subscribers i'm astonished that you guys actually gave me that big number and I don't come here to thank you guys for 500 subscribers because that's overrated. What I'm gonna do, I come here to explain my retarded brain when I was talking about my PS4 in that one video. Now, I come here to tell you how I initialize my PlayStation and why I initialize my PlayStation back in that time. Okay. So, last time I was on my PlayStation, I had initialized problems. Um, by initialized problem, I don't know. It was a software problem. Okay, so what would happen is that my system would um, automatically go into the safe mode. Whenever it enters safe mode, it would act. It would tell me to update it to the newest update. And whenever I were to update it to the newest update, it would say that it has an error updating. And whenever it has an error updating, it just recycles me back to the safe mode and um, I wasn't able to enter the PlayStation unless I completely initialized and deleted everything on my system this this would happen to me about every um, week or to two weeks so the problem the thing why I made the initialize my ps4 video was, was mainly because um I, I, I was an idiot and uh, black jokes, but um, speaking of black jokes, because I'm black, um, oh my freaking god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, guys! Ah! I was gonna, I was gonna drink ketchup and then it just freaking, oh my god! Ah! <laughs> I have to go wash this off. Oh no! Okay, guys. <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> I got I got ketchup on my other shirt. Tried to swallow the ketchup from the bottle and uh well <clears throat> that happened. <sighs> oh my goodness. Um Oh my god. Oh my god. Yes. I'm I'm absolutely <sighs> flabbergasted. I I, I can't, I can't. <laughs> uh. Okay guys, problem solved is ish kinda. Um everything's in the dryer. Um I'm um currently on the PlayStation, you guys as you guys can see. So what I'm gonna show you guys is um I would bring basically go all the way down here, you click initialization. I can't do it while I'm streaming to you guys, but um basically you would click initialization, you would click yes, and it would completely clear your PlayStation. If you were to want to sell your PlayStation, you would want to click the initialize button and that would delete all of your stuff on your PlayStation where you could sell your system. And, um, <clears throat> I, 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 that, that's basically what, um, I did. I, I initialized that console and, um, over and over every, like, couple weeks, it was a freaking, it was a pain in the butt. But, um, I got rid of that, um, console, and now I have the PS4 Pro, which has not failed me, thank god. So, from what I've, uh, done so far, I now have a PC I built, and everything. I'll, I'll show you guys the specs, um, up close. So, um, I actually need to, um, dust this and take it apart, clean it, put it back together. But, um, I have a 700 watt power supply. Uh, GeForce GTX 1660 Super, uh, it's a super clocked one, um, the price for this graphics card is $240, uh, under that CPU cooler, I have an AMD Ryzen 5 3600 processor, and, um, 
Well, for uh, storage, I have a two terabyte hard drive. You can actually see the two terabyte right there. And below that, I have a two uh, two hundred uh, gigabyte SS. Sorry, two hundred gigabyte um, hard drive. And behind my motherboard, I have a two hundred and forty gigabyte SSD that I have my Windows 10 installed to. And um, right here are my RAM sticks. I have um, sixteen gigabytes of RAM. And that's yeah, that should be it. Yeah, that, that's 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 all. That's all it takes to build a computer, that's all of it. And my case is a Aerocool Cyclone mid-tower. Um, I'd put anime stickers on it, just to be, uh, retarded. Ha, <laughs> ha, just be, you know, dummy dumb. <laughs> um, I also have a, uh, USB chip plugged in. I'm not using it for anything, it's completely cleared, it's 16 gigabytes. Um, my microphone plugs in at the back right here. The motherboard I have is a, uh, a it's a B450 Pro 4, and I have um, I think okay I think this is three yeah three um sorry, sorry two <laughs> I'm so dumb two USB slots right here and then I have uh, two 3.0 USB slots a HDMI slot and USB Type C um, my graphics card has. Um, a DVI port, I believe that is, a HDMI, and one Display Port, which is the one I use. From that, that's that's basically it. And my monitor is, you can see me right here editing the video. Uh, my monitor is a 240 hertz G-Sync uh, HDR has HDR. I don't normally use it whenever I'm gaming. I have it on one millisecond response time, 240 hertz G-Sync. It's really nice. And my webcam, nice. Yeah, it's uh, 60 FPS, 1080p. That's that's basically it. And uh, PS4 is um, AMD. I don't know the specs of it, but it has AMD in it. But yeah, whatever. Um, <laughs> that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, what I've got to tell you now is that Real Killer Boss is now gone. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you're still here watching, might as well hit that you know like button and you know subscribe button. And while you're at it, might want to go down there, leave a comment, you know, see, you know, see what's popping, you know, <laughs> yeah. And um, that, that, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed. That's how to initialize your PS4. Why would you want to? And how I initialize my PS4. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed. Real Killer Boss is now gone. <laughs>